Hi, I'm Tim Stocks with Cornabies, and today we are showing you how to make smoothies using the Cornabies smoothie mix. This is part of the reimbursable smoothie program um, through the federal government, and they taste really good. Today we're at Forum Junior High School with Corinne and Jeannie, my lovely assistants, and we're going to show you how to make this up. So what we're going to use is two parts milk to every one part of the smoothie mix. And the boss lady says it's best to start with the milk. So we're going to pour the milk in first, and then we're going to put in the smoothie mix. Now this smoothie mix is thought out. Generally it comes frozen, and it's still soft and pliable, so you can still put it into the mixer without any problem. But I do suggest putting it in in smaller chunks. Now as you see here, we have the wire whisk, and you can use a paddle attachment as well, but because it's, it's thought out, we're going to use the wire whisk. Remember when you're mixing this that you're going to want to start on a low speed and then work your way up. We were at a, another school doing a test pilot and she put in the whole block of the smoothie mix and turned on high and completely bathed one of the other lunch ladies. So remember to be mindful of those around you and to start slow. Alright, so once you have the smoothie mix made all up, then it's ready to go in the freezer in most walk-ins. You can put it, it works best to actually leave it in the same bowl to mix it in because it's pretty well insulated. It's gonna be there overnight, so what this is gonna do, it will help the mix thicken up and get really nice and cold. And in the morning, we're gonna mix it back up uh, right before we serve it. So just take the whole lid, cover with some plastic. And if you can see here, we've actually put the plastic in so it's covering the surface there so it won't get the ice warm enough. 